Hello and welcome to Shoot It Right. I'm Shraddha Kadakya and I'm a commercial photographer. I'm also the founder of Just Click Image Making Company. Memory cards have been an inseparable element of modern life. Devices like mobile phones, cameras, handy cams and MP3 player have made them popular. Let us now understand them in different shapes and sizes and what are their purposes. Also coming up is a click tip of the day. Do consider the size, capacity and compatibility of the card before buying it. Some devices would support specific type and specific size of memory cards. It is important to read the product manual so you can purchase the correct and compatible memory card. There are few major types of memory cards that can be used in common devices like cameras. Each of these memory cards comes in different shapes and sizes and as the technology is progressing, physically the card is getting smaller and logically it's getting bigger. The first one is Compact Flash Card, commonly known as CF Card. It was invented by SanDisk in 1994 and supports 3.3 watt and 5 watt camera operation unlike other cards. This is one of the largest memory cards which is generally used in high-end DSLR cameras. Next is Secure Digital Card or SD Card. SD Card are commonly used in most of the photography devices like DSLR camera, point and shoot or handy cams. It was introduced in 1999. SD cards are available in capacity up to 64GB and still growing. Next is micro SD card. It is mainly used in all mobile phones or other handheld devices. Micro SD cards are available in capacity similar to SD cards. Next is Sony Memory Stick. Sony Memory Stick are light and compact, designed and compatible for many digital cameras, recorders and more devices. The purpose of Memory Stick is similar to a memory card. The only disadvantage of Memory Stick is that it's compatible with few devices in the market. Apart from the physical difference, the most confusing aspect of different memory cards are their speeds. Some cards score speed in megabyte per second while others just use X suffix as 133X in this card. To add to the confusion, some only list a class of card. So how can they be compared? Let me decode it for you. 1X is equivalent to 150 kbps, while 10X is equivalent to 1.5 mbps and 100X is equivalent to 15 mbps. The class system used on SD cards are very simple and easy to understand. The quoted figure directly relates the minimum transfer speed of the card. So a class 2 offers a minimum transfer speed of 2 mbps, class 4 offers 4 mbps and so on. The speed of a memory card is important for two reasons, read speed and write speed. A card read speed describes how fast you can copy your camera data to the computer. A fast read speed card transfers your data more rapidly. The write speed describes how fast the images can be saved on the card. This is very important while photographing multiple frames per second. For video operations, it's recommended to use high write speed card as the rate of data to be saved is more. Keeping these things in mind before buying your memory card for your camera, will help you choose the right card and get the most of it. Time for a click tip of the day. While hand holding a shot which often requires a tripod, try shooting on continuous mode. Often the first image will be blurred but later on you'll start getting much sharper pictures. It was quite an informative video on Shoot It Right today. I hope you understood every single detail about memory cards. Do keep writing your feedbacks and we'll be more than happy to answer all your queries. We shall be back with more interesting videos on photography. Happy clicking!